Hey everybody, it's Comp Help. Thank you for watching this video. This video is actually a re-upload from a long time ago, um, so a lot of you may not need this video, but uh, you know, it's just so it goes up there. I've had a lot of people still asking every day how I do this, and it's basically the watermark here on my video. You can see it right there. Um, I'm going to show you how to get that on your videos using Camtasia Studio. I'm using Camtasia Studio 5. There's already a version 6 out. Um, 7 might be out soon, I'm not sure. But uh, this is basically how I do it, and um, yeah, hopefully this answers a lot of your questions. And if you already know how to do this, please uh, show me a different way to do it, if you have a better way using like Sony Vegas or a different program or something. That'd be pretty neat. I'm always up to watching uh, video responses. Alright, so what we're going to do here is open up Camtasia Studio. What you're going to have to do is open up your video, which you're going to do where you're going to put the watermark on. Uh, this is actually a video file right after I record in Camtasia Studio. This is the project file, the recorder document files. I call it project file. Not really the right word for it, but uh, okay. Usually it will already be in its timeline. And let's say you've already edited the video. You're already finished. You're like, all right, I'm good to uh, render it and upload it on YouTube. At this point, this is when you press Produce Video As. And you just go along with your video settings. Next, next, and next, and I always change this to 720. Just go ahead and click next, and this is the most important part right here, the watermark. So make sure you click on include watermark, go to options, if you want to change all these settings here. Um, if this right here isn't on, make sure you click preview. Go to browse and look for your logo, in my case, mine is on the desktop. That's that picture right there. You can apply a few effects. Well, not like on this side for some reason. You can apply some different effects here, such as an emboss effect, which uh, I really don't like that. You know, you can change, you can change it how you want it right there. Oh, sorry for this lag. Avas decided to pop up at this moment. All right, you can use a transparent color. You can go ahead and change the opacity if you'd like it to be totally non-see-through so it stands out like a sore thumb. I really don't like that. Um, I, I like it at about 40. This way you can still see through it and it's not too distracting. You can preserve the image size. So if your image is like, I don't know, 500 by 500 pixels, um, it might be too big for your video. So I like to take that off and scale it myself. So I don't know, about 20 something. 20 might be okay. You can keep the aspect ratio, which I totally recommend. This way it keeps its size or its um its shape. Use smooth scaling, sure, why not? You can position it wherever you want in the video. I always like it in the bottom right hand corner. Seems most professional. I keep it at around nine percent on both horizontal and vertical option. So I mean it's this totally customizable where exactly you want it. Go ahead and click OK. And that's about it. You just click next, next, name your video file, and click finish. And it'll render the project. I would go through the rendering thing, but uh, it doesn't even show up on the video when I show you guys. So you, know, you just wait for that video to render. It would, uh, it would usually be in a folder or just on your desktop, wherever you saved it. And that's the file you'd upload to YouTube. That's basically how you do this. Now, what are some reasons why you'd want to watermark? Basically, to brand yourself so nobody can steal your videos. Um, if uh, you have your logo, you can file copyright claims. Say, hey, YouTube, guess what? I own this video. If you, they totally copied uh, your video, you know, if they re-uploaded it to their own channel, you can most likely uh, file a copyright complaint to YouTube and say, hey, I own this video, so take it down. Here's my logo to prove it. It's on there. And yeah, that's why I really have it up there. So yeah, and it you know it just makes it look nice. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Kind of adds like a little feature where it looks like it's my own like I don't know TV show or something. So yep, everybody has their own reasons why they have it up there. But uh, if this is one of the things you'd want to do on your videos. That's how you do it. So I hope this video helped you out in any way. If it did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, a lot of you are most likely gonna know how to do this already. Uh, to tell you the truth, I haven't made a video in a, a, video in a while, so I'm just getting practice again. <laughs> so, uh, yep, uh, this is one of the videos that had to be taken down due to YouTube partner contract. Thank you for watching.
please rate, comment, subscribe. Always up for that. I want you guys to check out a couple links, though, a few links. The first link is comphelp.com. All links will be in the description, by the way. My second link is my blog, comphelp.info. If you want to learn how to make money online like I do, make some extra cash on the side, go over to cashcrate.biz. It's pretty neat. If you are interested in learning some Photoshop stuffs, <laughs> S-T-U-F-F-Z, I don't know, made it up, it's pretty lame. Anyway, if you're interested in learning anything Photoshop, I have a friend, C-I-M-G, uh, I have his link in the description, he actually is doing a Photoshop newbie, what is it, like school, sort of e-school thing, where he'll teach you from, s from start to finish. This guy, he's amazing at Photoshop, and I'm pretty sure he can teach you some pretty cool things. So, there you go, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Peace.